Hi, I'm Miss Tashina, and welcome to St. Joseph's Church Children's Liturgy of the Word. We got a cute little fun thing for us to do today, but as always, we like to start with our house rules. Just because we're not in person doesn't mean we don't want to employ our best practices to make sure that we have success when building our activity. So, number one, be prepared. Make sure to gather everything you need before starting your craft. Number two, be attentive. Make sure that you're open and ready to study the Word of God. Number three, have fun. Be excited to learn more about our faith. And four, as always, we smile because Jesus loves us. So today we have a look ahead at something that happens, a big event that happens later with Jesus, but he does it in a smaller way with a smaller group of people first. So today Jesus is talking to his disciples and he's talking to some of the people. And this is the Sermon on the Plain. The big one that happens later is called the Sermon on the Mount, which is where Jesus gives us the Beatitudes. Well, in today's gospel, Jesus gives us a little preview of what the Beatitudes are like because he tells us about blessed are the poor and blessed are the people who weep and blessed for those who are persecuted for, for his name's sake. And so all those are things that are happening to people when they love Jesus and they refuse to stop talking about him. Sometimes people persecute you. Persecute you means they treat you badly and treat you poorly because of the decisions they made. Or when people are poor, sometimes they're looked at as being less than for not having what other people have. And they're treated unfairly. Or sometimes when people mourn and they weep, people are leave them alone and leave them by themselves because they don't want to get depressed being around a sad person. But that's not what Jesus would have us to do. He wants he's, He calls the people that are mourning or weeping, he calls them blessed and says they'll be comforted. For those who are poor, he says they're going to be rich. And for those who are persecuted, that the kingdom is going to be theirs, that the kingdom of God is going to be theirs. But he has a warning too. Jesus has a warning. Woe to us who are rich. Woe to people who are rich now. Because if you're rich now and you're not sharing your wealth, well, then you already have your reward. For those people who are with people who mourn and don't try to comfort them, well, don't look for comfort later for when you're mourning. And if you're persecuting people now, well, there's no reason for you to come to the kingdom of heaven later. So we have to be careful to make sure that even if we do have money or we do have happiness or if we do have um, joy in our lives and that we're living peacefully, that we don't forget about the people who are not. So when we think about forgetting Somebody who never forgets about us is God. God never forgets about us. And even when we are experiencing difficulties, God always remembers us. And when we trust and believe in him, we know that he'll take and make our sad times happy. He'll take and make us rich when we're poor. He'll take and the people that are persecuting us, he'll take and use them to help us. So God never forgets us. And there's an animal in our kingdom, in the animal kingdom that has a memory and they say they never forget. You know what that, 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 that animal is? It's an elephant. And elephants never forget. You could see an elephant and he'll remember you 20 years later. Or if you did something good or even if you did something bad, that elephant will remember you. Well, like that, God always remembers us and God loves us. He made us each his own and he calls us each by name and he has a special place in his heart for you and me and everybody and he never forgets us. He knows us. He knows the numbers of hair on our head and he never ever forgets us. So we're going to make some little elephants today. And you see we have some hearts, so just in time for Valentine's Day. So we'll get this cute little craft started. So get everything you need to help us remember how much God loves us, wants us to be happy, and he'll never forget us. All right, so let's get started. 
To prepare our craft, you'll need everything from your kit, which includes your strip, your googly eyes, your small hearts, your big hearts, and your circle. And then from home, you'll need a glue stick, a Sharpie or a marker, and a pair of scissors. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna cut out our two small hearts, our two big hearts, and our circle. And then when I come back, we'll show you how to attach your, put it all together, and how to fold up our uh, paper to make our trunk. So go ahead and we'll go and cut out your small hearts, your big hearts, and your circle. And when we have that done, We'll come back and we'll show you how to put it all together. Okay, so now I have all my pieces cut out and now we can assemble. So I'm gonna use the circle as our face and our big hearts are our ears. Elephants have big floppy ears so that they can hear. And just so that we can have something else, we're gonna put the little hearts inside of the big hearts to show the soft part of their ears. It's normally like pink, the inside of an elephant's ears. Okay, and then we're gonna, so let's glue all this on. So we'll glue our big hearts to the back of our face. So that's our circle. So we'll glue our big hearts to the back of our circle. Okay. Okay, and then we'll put some glue on our little hearts to go inside of our big hearts mm -hmm. just like that all right so now that's done and we're gonna put on a little bit of glue for our googly eyes so you can put on just a little spot of glue it doesn't take much and put one eye on and put a little spot of glue and put the other eye on so and now your glue your um glue stick should dry clear so you won't be able to see the purple on on that and then for our for our trunk to make our trunk you're going to take your long strip of paper and you're going to make a little fold one way and then you're going to turn it and fold it back that same length on the other way and then turn it and you're going to fold it like you did the first time and it's going to make like a little accordion and you turn it and you fold it again and you just do that until you go all the way down the length of your paper. Now, if you need some help, get a parent or big brother or sister to help you. But you're just making like a little accordion fold. And that's going to be our elephant's trunk. So our elephant trunk is really where a lot of the elephant's power is. It's how they get their food up to their mouths. It's how they clear things out of their way when they come across uh, stuff on a road when they're walking. And it's also how they drink water to pour water over themselves to kind of like bathe themselves or to cool off. So our trunk is very important. It's a very important part of the elephant's body. Okay, so I'm almost finished. So you just fold and fold and fold and you keep folding. And so that's my last fold. We've got to the end. And now, ta-da! So you have, we have a nice trunk for our elephant. 
So now all I have to do is to glue our trunk on. So I'll just glue, put a little bit of glue on the trunk. Okay. All right. So now my elephant is complete. I'm going to add some eyelashes. You could add some eyebrows if you want. We can even add a little smile coming off from the other side of our elephant. And now we have our elephant that never forgets. And it's our reminder that God loves us, wants us to be happy, and he'll never forget us. This looks like a little emoji, huh? <laughs> so that's cute. So you know, Miss Sheena likes y'all to be creative so you can decorate this any way you'd like. But this is our reminder that God loves us, wants us to be happy, share what it is that we have, be good to other people, and he will never, ever forget us. Well, I hope you had fun making our little elephants, reminding us that God loves us, wants us to be happy, and will never forget us. We never like to close without saying our final prayer. Are you ready? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Repeat after me. We thank you, Lord, for this day for time to work, to learn, and play. We ask you, Lord, forgive our sin, and we'll try not to sin again. We thank you, Lord, for your love, and send love back to you above. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Bye. See you next time. Thank you. Please see your packet for additional resources on the Sermon on the Plane.